heading into the next thrift store. This is Grace Village. This is a church thrift store. Um, it's made up of a lot of different buildings. So this one is kind of a unique one. I think you guys will enjoy it. So hopefully we'll find some stuff. And this out here, if I remember correctly, and I, I don't know if they still do it, but this is usually their dollar table. So, oh, they got slides here. So they have rooms, and the rooms are all kind of, um, well, that's cool. I wonder, that's kind of interesting. Ooh, that's heavy. Must be part of something. So it looks like they got a little rain here because I can see a little water on stuff. But let's go ahead and see what they have. Got lots of canning jars and helmets. So this is the men's, the men's room. So as you can see, they'll have like a lot of garage stuff. And of course, hunting stuff, which Sharon knows nothing about. Carl usually has a really good time in here though, but I think he's, I think he wants to just stay in the car this time, so. We even have a saddle. There's even a saddle. And we do, we have a fan on in here, so. Sorry if that's muffling my voice. But we'll we'll get into the other stuff and there's there's one with clothes and knickknacks and tchotchkes and I mean look at all this stuff. Armor gear. So this is a okay, so this is what I was talking about. Okay. So in order to, to go, you go in one of these doors, they're like sheds. They're like little sheds. Okay. Oops, sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, that's heavy. All right. Some old canning jars. Oh, that's nice. The one with the eagle on it. I have done that one before. That's number three. That one's kind of nice. I can't remember what the one with the eagle went for though. Oh, this one has an eagle on it too. This one does also. Hmm. Tempting, but I'll have to come back for those. Now these are the older ones. Yeah. Some ball jars. All right, let's see what else we have. Old ashtray.
That's pretty. Um, okay, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Let's head to the next one. Okay, so we didn't find anything in that one. Let's go ahead and head to the next building. And there's a main house too. It's on the church property. So there's a house also that has all kinds of stuff. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be all kids. I think we'll go in the next one. Okay, sorry, that's gonna be all like little kids stuff. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna tape in, in there when the kids are in there playing. So we'll head out to the next one. This is all the clothes, okay. Oh, Carl decided to get out of the car. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Next building. Thank you. Those are really cute. Put that right there. That's really clean. You know what? It looks older. It's very clean on. It's got just a little bit on the inside. Definitely authentic. A couple of pen marks. Oh, but it's got pen marks on the leather too. I was gonna say, if it didn't have pen marks on the leather, this is probably gonna be worth it. But I think I'm gonna pass on it. I hate to do that, but it's, when it starts to get, it's 25. So just to let you know, it's 25, even though I really do like it. It's just not, I think it's more than I wanna spend.
Oh, here's another pair of Allegrias. Wow, these all look like they're brand new. You know what? I'm tempted to grab these um, just because uh, they look so new. I want to make sure and I check everything because, like I said, this place is um, its a donation. So the, the, the donation, um, people donate here is what I was trying to say. Sorry, my words weren't coming out properly. But people donate here. These shoes, these shoes look brand new. I mean, seriously. And I think they're both in my size. So I think one way or another, that's probably okay. And they have dresses and purses. Um, let me see if I can. Now, see, that's not very expensive. I can tell by the way it feels. So I'm going to put that back up there. But this one, this one's probably leather. Yep, this is a stone in company. Um, so that one was $4.99. We've got some shoes, some sandals. And this place will, will put things, um, oh my goodness, these are Cole Haan. These are $24.99. Darn if they're not so pretty. And they look like they have like no wear on them. They're, this is an eight and a half. I bet you this is a Cole Haan too. Oh, it is. Yeah. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be the same price. I mean, these are, these are worth it. I mean, honestly, they're, they're cool. Oh, and the boxes are here too. Okay. Hmm. Tempting. I don't know if I'd want to send them with the boxes. So just because it, it would be expensive for me to do it that way. But darn it. Those aren't really nice looking. I, I will have to, I think I'm going to have to wait on those. So, because like I said, for 25, I mean, if these were like 10 or 15, absolutely. But the size of that box is going to change my shipping. So. I have to think about that is what I'm trying to say is it, it, it changes my, oh, this is J Jill. That's pretty. It's kind of like a burlap. What is this down here? Oh, that's cute too. That looks like it's probably going to be leather. How much is this little guy? Sorry. Oh, nope. There's no, um, nothing on it. So I think we'll leave that little guy. I will ask when I get out, out there to the register, um, about the boots. Cause you know, like I said, I really do like the boots, but, um, the shipping would be just too much, too much for me. And I do, I do tend to worry about the heels too, because people with heels, um, they can be a little, a little funny. Oh, those are cute too. What, what are those? Something caught my eye. No, those are just life strides. Sorry. I was looking at the floor as I was leaving and there was a pair of shoes, but we're going to leave those. Okay. So we're going to head into the house now. So I will take you into the house. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Got a little hat right there. Cookbooks. It does. It does. Oh, it smells so good in here. It smells like caramel like pumpkin spice or something. Some shampoos and things like that. Oh, there's one of those uh, Reich's bears. Oh, do you find? Oh my goodness, those are adorable. Will you hold on to them though? But yes, I love yeah, those. Yeah, two Oh yeah, absolutely. This was on the ground outside. I don't know if you're up here or not. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> yes, yes. Are you heading out to the car? Um, I'm going to be a few minutes. Are you? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to put them over here in um, the customer hold basket. All right, perfect. Thank you, honey. The very first one. Well, hold on. Yeah, the very first one. All right, thank you. And he said they were $2.99 for all four of them. Okay. Okay. Well, you guys want to, let's go look at the jewel. Let's go look at the jewelry. Oh, that's pretty. There's some interesting stuff here. I know, like I said, it's, um, oh, that almost looks like it, that almost looks like it could be a coach, a coach ring. That's really cute. Um, oh, there's another one. Okay. So probably not. What about this guy up here? Oh, you got it? Okay. Thank you, honey. I was just going to call Melissa to see. Here's a box. That's really pretty, too. That's really cute. This has got a, a, a mother of pearl inlay on it. I'm not sure what that is, though. Oh, it's birds. You know what? For a dollar, I think I'm going to grab it. It's a lacquer. It's lacquer. It's lacquer. Let's see what these are. Wow, cat. Okay. Carl found some cute Halloween dishes. He must. He came through here already. I bet is what happened. Is he was already in here. So this is all kitchen. Oh, you know what? I know, this looks like. Um. Oh gosh, I would say it is. Is that Farberware? That looks like, um, oh, it is. Okay. I'm going to take those. Whoopsie. Let me see if I can get two hands on these. He's got my stuff in, in, in a hold bin over there. So let's, let's go drop our stuff over there. All right. No, they don't take tape. Just give us the calculator. The calculator is uh, not meant to take a tape. Okay, so we're going to go back in here. So the two mugs I grabbed were Heartstone mugs. Um, those are very good. They're old. I believe they're made in Ohio. Jerusalem. Yeah, I was surprised to see those heartstone mugs sitting there. And we got some false craft baskets. There's some uh, drip glaze, and they do have some Revere wear lids. I have a feeling Carl has been through here already, though. Oh, this is cute. That's cute. The little crock, little crock, like little, little tiny one. It's more of like an individual crock and this this has got to be like a fire king or something like that nice pattern though divided dish um is this the tupperware okay so this is we have a tupperware room this looks like the stuff I found in England. It is. Calf Kitson. These are, I um, saw a lot of this when we were in, oh yeah, I'm going to grab this. This is cute. Look at the little lunch bag with the little things. But yeah, these are, this is, this is made in London. So I, I knew exactly what that was when I saw it. So yeah, for a ball, for a dollar, that's going with me. I love it. In fact, these are really pretty too. I wonder who makes those. This is where I run into problems trying to read silverware. That's why you don't see me buy a lot of it because the writing is small. All right. So we did, we got the calf kits in. Some plates. Um, I don't need these white ones. Vault graph. Okay. All right. Thank you, though.
Mm. The ones down there, too. Well, she said it works. Well, maybe it works once they require a Okay, we have some artwork. Okay. Look at all this stuff they got here. Okay, so we can't go up there. That's a really cute the turkey ornament. I don't know who makes this one though. I can't see what the cap looks like on it. It's really cute. Okay, there's the turkey. These are like some swans, geese. All right, I think we're gonna get ourselves checked out now. We're good. All right, let's go. It's time to do a little shopping today. Let's go see what we can find. Ooh. We got a cart. Oh, good. So first card is, is okay. I was ready. I was going to find that first card. It wasn't going to be good. <laughs> All right. We do have some stuff over here. What are these? Those are really pretty. Oh, these are Earth Origins. Okay. So we're not going to, we're not going to do that one. I'll probably put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Capelli and Rossi. Hmm. Those are okay. You know what? Let's let's go back here and see if we have any carts or anything. Oh, this is a belt bag. Oh, this is an old Morona. doesn't look that doesn't look great so I think we'll leave that too oh that one's really cute though I like the um, I like the shoe I wonder if we can find the other one of these this might be a Brighton yep it is so I will take this for a dollar so their accessories here are a dollar ninety nine oh who, who makes that oh that's Nanette Lepore that's pretty though um, but it doesn't, it doesn't do very well. So we will take, we will take the little Brighton. What is this one right here? Okay, that one's got some rips in it. Well, I don't think, um, I don't think we're going to grab much out of there. I'm going to take the shoe because you know what that means. It means we've got to find the other one which you know is always gonna be fun. This is Target. Um, this one is Calvin Klein. Oh, that's pretty. You know what, this might be um, Kate Spade. I suspect it might be. Hmm. 
I'm not seeing a label in it though. It might be a knockoff. Let me see, is there anything in here? I'll put it in the cart and I'll check. I think it might be a knockoff. All right. That one's no. Oh, nope, that doesn't feel very good, but I am just checking to see what else is down here. So nothing I think I need to I need to take. What are these right here? These are actually Sperry's. Hope you guys got to see those. Let me see, it's a purple. That's like a cooler cozy. It feels like one of those things you put around your drink. And what about over here? Got some socks. Got some funny fancy glasses here. Mayak collection. Mia K, sorry. I don't think that's leather, but it's very cute. And what about this one right here? This is a Nine West clutch. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go look at the purses, then we'll come and look at the backpacks. It's been a while, so maybe they put some cute stuff out. We'll find out. This one's a Target. I like the colors. It's like a mauve purple. What is this? That feels nice. Um, I don't see any tags in it at all, though. Hmm, it's cute though. It's just a little cream quilted bag, a little turn lock. The turn lock definitely has some wear on it. Got some orange. That's a, now I know that's an Anne Klein. Um, this one says genuine leather on it. Oh, that's cute. I wonder if this is, I bet you this is a bright and it might be. I love the red. Now, sometimes when they're brightens, they say it so discreetly that you might not realize it is a brighten. Ah, see, look, this is what I was talking about. It doesn't scream it, but there's the tag. I don't, I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm showing you, but it is a brighten, and I'm gonna take that. Um, this little red wallet um, crossbody is very cute. Um, there's tarnish on there, but that should clean right up with a little, um, with a little cleaner and then, you know, just a little wipe on the inside. It's actually not in bad shape, it's just dusty. So for, we'll take that. That's a cute one. Okay. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that's a Capizio. Well, they definitely have some interesting things out here. I like the colors on this, but this is this is not not a quality piece, but beautiful colors. Um, is, is this a fossil? Nope. This is a this is a Franco Sardo right there. Hmm. Okay. Oops. And of course, it fell. Let me fix it. I do see, um, that says Michael Kors, but the leather is completely coming off on that one. I think I, I will look at this Vera Bradley though, just because the pink is very pretty. It looks to be in really nice shape too. Yeah, this is in really nice shape. So these, um, their purses uh, um, are $7.99. They, they, they aren't marking them up anymore. That's a stone mountain. Um, I think I'm okay with the pink. I do kind of like it. I will check for damage and stuff, but I, I kind of like the pink. You know, I am getting out of my, I am picking up more and more winter stuff just because it is, that's a Steve Madden, just because we're going into the, that time of year. Oh, that's really cute now. I can't read who that one is. It's got a little label on the front. Okay, so it's got a cell phone holder, a wallet, um, checkbook. 
You know what? I'm going to actually have to pull out my phone and get the magnifier out because I can't read that label. So let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see. So if you guys have never seen me do it, I have a magnifier on my phone. And I just turn it up a little bit to five. And then I can just take a shot of it and then make it bigger. That says something internet. It's still really hard to read. Is that cold? It might be Russian. Um, it's a little bit more dirty than I wanted, but just to let you know, if, if you if you ever need that, there oh that's Steve Matt, that's a Steve Matt too. That's a really a cute one. If you ever need to do that, um, there's an app where you put a magnifier on your phone. Oh, this is Hobo International. This is another good one. I always pick up Hobo International. It's a it's a real easy brand to move, and it, it's it's normally don't think it's that worn. It normally has that distressed leather look to it. It's red. Um, so right now I'm just checking the inside is clean. I'm just checking the zippers and and poles and everything, but everything looks really good on this. This will their stuff will clean right up too. So I don't really have to do too much with that, but that that one's gonna go with me absolutely. All right, now I do see this corduroy one up here. This is kind of an interesting one. Oh, this is Chaps, so this would have been like a, um, you know, the Ralph Lauren knockoff. I know they sell a lot of the Chaps at, at um, like, coal, Kohl's and stuff like that. I think you can still buy Chaps there. So I'm always checking the, the bags. That one's a little bit worn. I always like these big woven bags, but most of the time I, I don't find, I don't find good ones. I just find the... The, the cheaper ones. This is okay. Now I won't pronounce that correctly. It is leather. Is is it? It's B E C H A M E L. I mean, I've heard of it before. I know I won't pronounce it correctly, but you know what? I'm going to take and check this one because I do know this brand. I do know it's leather. It's a navy blue, and it is in wonderful condition. So I'm going to stick this in the cart just to do a check on that one. And then I have like the Targus. The Targus is over here. Um, that's this is this is a normal. This is a, a laptop brand. Um, it, they only marked it. They actually put a sticker on that one at four ninety nine. It's it's not a good. It's not a good. It's not a good seller. So. So I just want to do one more quick. Here's a lug purse. I normally do really well with my lug stuff. So I'm I'm I've got to just check the condition on this one. This is, and the lug purses are nice because they always put which one it is. Like they always put what model it is. Like usually somewhere on the la the label. Well, this one doesn't look horrible. It's got a few little stray strings which just would need to be cut off. So I'm actually gonna check the inside and see what that looks like down at the bottom and stuff. I It just, eh. I, that zipper is just throwing me off. You know what? I think I'm going to pass on that one for today. But that is a brand that, you know, I will pick up pieces of it when I see it. There's a couple of these over here. These are the Danny K's. Um, they have a couple of them, two different ones. I bet you the same person probably had it in two different, um, two different colors. Which is normal because, you know, I'm the same way. If I like something a lot, I, I will buy it in, in multiple colors. So what's this one? Okay, this is a Bueno. I think I've seen that one before. All right, let's go ahead and um, take a quick look at the shoes. We did find a couple of things. You know, not too bad. I will still check all of the um, sandals and stuff like that, just because, you know, they, these are a little bit worn. They are going to have to probably do a little um, refill over here. It's a little bit empty. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll bring it over while I'm out here. Are these are these bass? Yeah, those are bass. What are these? Oh, those are cute. I don't know if Oh, these are bass also. As I say, I didn't know if the Sunjuns would do well, but they are they are something to be bass. And the bass 
the bass is is a hard one the sperries are hard also you know so there's a couple brands i'm probably just not gonna go there with that and yeah the music is loud as usual so carl will have to carl will have to deal with that when it gets to him Oh, well, we have a pair of shoes over here somewhere and it doesn't smell very good. And I haven't found them yet, but there is something over here that's probably, sh probably needed to be cleaned. These are Nine West. And I do see the, the Brooks here, but that doesn't look like one of the, um, the better ones. These are nice. These almost look like some of the ones that Carl likes. How about these? Oh, these are Skechers. These are nice too. No, too small. Too small. So that is, um, so these Brahmas are, are brand new with tags. Brahma is not a good brand in boot. These are obviously women's because they're pink. They're a six and a half. You know what? I know these Brahmas, even brand new, probably just won't do very well. So I'm gonna leave them. If I knew somebody needed them, it would be different. But, um, oh, these are cute. These are Toms. Oh, I like those. So these are Toms. What size are they? There are 12, and, I, and they're women's. Believe it or not, I actually knew they were women's. I think I'm gonna grab, I will check these for, see for value, but um, I like them and they're in a bigger size. So that could be a good, a good one. And then these are, these are Mark Joseph. I knew by looking at them that they were leather. I could tell and the minute I picked them up, I knew, but the, they're not that bad. I know they're a smaller size. Yeah, they're a size six. Mark Joseph. Very cute. I don't know if, if those shoes are gonna do very well. I probably should check. That's just a brand that I really haven't kept up on. So let's just go ahead and see. I will show you how I do my Google images. So now you can see. Yeah, brand new, they're only $46 on Amazon. So that means that's a that's a no. If they're only $46 on Amazon, they're not gonna they're not gonna be worth having to pick up and clean. That means they're just gonna end up sitting. So we'll leave those. But this okay, I've I've had this brand before. Now these Oh goodness, I can't remember what the label is. I've, I've done this brand before, so I'm pretty sure this one's going with me. These are actually, um, and the ones I have are handmade. Um, I wanna say the ones I have are in Norway. I'm not, sh let's go ahead and find out which ones these are. No, these, okay, so these are not, mine are from Norway. These are the Mia ones. And you know what? They actually do very well. So you know what, we're gonna grab those. We'll grab the Mia ones because I can already see that from eBay, even the, the resale on them is, the resale probably is gonna be 30 to $40. So we'll put them in, but you know, obviously I still will, I will still double check for damage and things like that before I get out of here. These are Earth Origins. What are these up here? Naturalizers. Oh, these are brand new. Look at that. Someone, um, yeah, these have never been worn. They've never been worn out. I love, I love the way they look with just the little back strap. Very cute. They do feel like they're, let's see what it says on the inside. Oh no, these aren't even, they're not leather. Okay, so I'm gonna pass on them just because they're not leather, but they are, they're nice. Okay. 
Let's check over here on the other side and see what we can find. You know, I am going to start really focusing on, these are actually Sperry Wedge boots. Those are adorable. And I just, as I just told you that I'm not picking up Sperry. Oh, they're a size eight too. That's a nice size. Eh, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm already contradicting myself. I, I am tempted to grab this just because it's, it's, this it's the style that more so than the brand yes it's sperry i know it's leather but it's it's this style nice little wedge boot these will clean up beautifully they don't look like they were worn that much so this might be a this might be one that goes with me and here we we have some i think in the old days they used to call these creepers so but I'm not familiar with that brand, Rose G. So they're, they're not expensive, I can tell. They're just super lightweight. Okay, so I got one boot. I only got one. Gotta find the other one. All right, so we'll, we'll stick this right in here until we can find the other one, if, if we find the other one. It's, it is, it is the dilemma I run into quite often here. I might only find one. I'll mix these. Oh, these are Sam Edelman's. Oh, those, are, I don't like the way they did that. This is not wood. That's like a plasticky material right there. And it's, it's not holding up. Okay. So I'm going to take a little walk down here. See if I can find the other wedge. That wedge is brown, so it's it could easily be on the next aisle. Somebody might have tried it on and then just put it back. The one shoe. So let's go ahead and see if we can find the other one. No. Are these piccolinos? These look really nice. Yeah, there's no labeling on these, but these are definitely a nice leather. Oh, they feel really nice, but I don't know who makes those. There's nothing on them. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find the matching one. We got one shoe over here. Those are true crafts, those old boots. Oh, look at what I found. These are great. We're taking those all day long. Look at those little dance goes. Those are adorable. Little brown ones, barely worn. Ooh, and they're my size. Well, I have been keeping too many shoes though. So I do not know if I will be keeping those, but those are, you all know that the, anytime you can buy dance goes for $7.99, it's, that's a pretty good deal. Now, what are these down here? These are New Directions. Oh, these are Malus. Those are cute. See, these are brand, these look brand new. There's, there's no wear on these. You know what? They are cute. I might take those too. I'm gonna put them in the cart, even though I, I was starting to get away from, I don't know, happy, happy slides. Well, I still do not have the other wedge. So, so now I'm having to go back through. And I'm having to go back through and look. It might not be here. Sometimes you just need to take a step back and look. That, th that shelf is not very full, so I feel like I would have seen it on that one. So I do feel like somebody put it, just placed it somewhere else.
And I don't feel like it's gonna be over here. These are White Mountain. Um, these are all um, the black colored shoes. They have them done by color. Sorry, I have to make a little turn just to see if I can find them. Now I'm in the men's section. That doesn't mean that they can't be here though. Sport mides, oh, these are nice. Sport mines. They definitely have some dirt on the top of them though. I'm not sure because there's no, this is a new buck leather and new buck leather is hard to clean. Darn, those are a nice looking pair too. We got some hay dudes, but I'm, I'm not doing any more hay dudes. I, they're just, unless they're new, they sit. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to put that shoe back because I'm not finding the other one. I told you, it happens in here. I've checked end caps. I thought I looked down this aisle pretty good too. That's why I'm not thinking it's here. Let's go, let's go check, let's go see the back. Maybe it'll, you know what, it could be sitting. Remember how I told you they started doing shoes on these, um, these little end things over here? It might be sitting up here. What are these? Earth, those are Earth Origins. These are Carlos. Yeah, so I'm going to go check the rest of these little caps because it they might have been just dropped on there. And what are these? Oh, these are Target. Okay. Nope. All right, let's go, let's go see if we got some carts back here. And then we're probably gonna wrap it up here because I've got a few other things I wanna go see today. And I don't want to, um... okay. Well, that's pretty. What is this? Oh, World, Mar World Market. That's a beautiful cup. Nice and big, too. It's got some embossing. It's raised. Yeah, I do like that. I'd like it better if there was two of them, though. I think I'm going to put that back. So all the mugs, like I said, they went back and, and marked down. Not marked down. Changed their pricing. That's, that's what I wanted to say. So... That's pretty. This is Korea. They do have some beautiful strawberry patterns. Um, some old patterns that do really well, but that's, that's not gonna be one of them. What are these? It almost looks like they'd be Polish pottery, but they're not marked. Got lots of Ray Dunn. I can see lots of um, like sushi trays. That's pretty. Somebody did a pottery. They did all. They have all three pieces: the sugar, the creamer, and the pot teapot. That's cute. When they did a nice job.
Oh, well, look at all the little figurines. Let's go. This must be new. This is something they've done differently. They put all the figurines on a on shelves, like all together. Now, what is this? Uh, Italian, maybe. It's like a little napkin holder, or something. Okay. So I just wanted to back up and take a quick look here. All right. Well, let's go ahead and we're gonna go sort through the shoes and I guess we'll, we'll get out of here. Alrighty. So let's go check for damage. I'll make sure the values are where they are and then I'm gonna get myself checked out. So I'll see you in a little while.